Yanis, thanks for an amazing talk and like few questions for us. Uh, and first one, uh, what is uh, your role in like blockchain uh, economy and what kind of career path like bring you here to working with the blockchain? Oh, thank you. So um, I've, I've co-founded DAG Labs, which is a project to implement protocols that were developed in the academia. So um, I started as an academic um, doing uh, thinking theoretically about blockchain protocols and recently um, at the end of 2016 um, I've started thinking how to implement them in production so it's it's a transition from industry to academia from academia to industry um, the role of DAG labs is I guess to redo Satoshi's um, proof of work paradigm so there are many, many new innovations in blockchain uh, ecosystem and blockchain space. Um, there are like the next step or the, the, um, the next generation blockchains. But we are more, um, the, our main task is first to do uh, correctly or op more optimally Satoshi's work. Okay, thanks. And now uh, a lot of hype around blockchain. So what do you think like uh, the real business problems that we can solve with the blockchain? Well, first today is uh, the market is, is uh, still uh, dipping, and so we have quiet. We can work. Uh, this is the best time for builders. Um, you know, we are we're, we're, we're getting less attention from other people, so we can just uh, uh, concentrate on our work. Um, can you repeat the question? Uh, so, what is the main like uh, business problems that we can solve with the blockchain? Yeah. So. This is a question you know the entire community is trying to figure out. It's amazing how this you know there's such a such a big large market cap and such such a big hype, and yet it's not very clear. I don't think that blockchain can solve existing problems um, as as much as it can uh, invent new ways to cooperate and uh, to facilitate cooperations between different parties. So I wouldn't uh, if if you want to solve today's problem then centralized databases and centralized technologies um, are best. Um, that's, you can see, you know, AWS will probably um, forever be better than any other uh, such systems. But there are ways to, uh, but blockchain uh, allows for ways that to co cooperate which weren't before. Um, one, one example is um, prog programmable money which technically you can implement you know, on a centralized server, but if you want it, um, it, is, it doesn't happen, it will never happen in, um, you know, in centralized uh, financial uh, servers and institutions. So this is just one example. Um, so I would focus on financial assets, financial um, in internet of value, tra value transfers, that's what we are looking at. Okay, thanks. And you're talking with uh, like a lot of customers, a lot of potential customers. And what are their like qualities, expectation uh, from the blockchain platform or products that you can provide? So actually, we are not talking to a lot of customers, um, and um, you know, and people that are looking for products. When we are talking to these to these large corporations, they they have their innovation team. So you know, we met a, a large Chinese uh, corporation. You know, a, a, full, a room full of, of people that just uh, ask you what's the use case for, for blockchain. And the truth is, again, for these traditional institutions, I'm not sure that blockchain um, presents a solution as it maybe presents a, a threat. Um, and so, th so there are two levels of efforts. There's one effort, which is, you know, our, every company has its own effort to improve the technology. And then there's the effort of the entire community to, to, to get adoption, uh, to figure out the use case. So in, in that, we are part of a, a larger community. And, and, and there's, there's no real competition. The entire community together is looking how to bring it to mass adoption and how to bring value to end users and real customers. Uh, and, and in our project, we are currently focusing on just improving the technology and just being aware of the problem. So. Um, you know, we don't um, we don't have this manifesto of we believe that you know that everyone should use blockchain or that you know every merchant and point of sale should use um, Bitcoin payments or even Bitcoin Lightning. 
Um, I personally use just uh, credit cards and it's perfectly okay. So we're not pushing for that, um, for replacing current use cases, more for seeing how we can improve, uh, improve new use cases and new uh, user experiences that are not, uh, are, are not existing today. Okay, and what is like main technical, maybe or another kind of uh, challenges that you face it in working with blockchain? So in our project, the main the main challenge is how to scale up the system while preserving the the um, trustless and decentralized uh, assumptions. Um, so again, it's very easy to scale up the system if you're giving up on uh, on trustlessness and decentralization. So I would say you want to think carefully who are the users that you're targeting, um, what's their, I would say, trust preferences, um, whether they are kind of users uh, like the crypto community that they really want to verify every, trans every transaction or, or at least to have a protocol that formally um, verifies things and then there's other layers that handle these. And then, or you're targeting more users which really really don't care about what's happening behind the hoods, um, behind the scene. They just want to have a, a good user experience. Um, so once, but, but, but if you only look at, at these users, then, then again, credit card will, will be um, the best thing for them. So you kind of want to find a good trade-off where you are still um, meeting the, the standards, the correct standards of the, um, of the community, of the technical community. Um, and still serving and optimizing for the right user base. That's the main challenge. That's what we're figuring out now. Okay, thanks. And now on the hiring market, like a lot of new position connected with the blockchain. So what do you think like the main skill set of the specialist uh, which is which we needed like to work with blockchain? Well, that's a, that's a great question. Um, so I can say from our perspective in DAG Labs, what you want to have in a company, and this, this is again, I'm an academic, so don't take, don't take, take it with a, you know, with a grain of salt. Um, you want to have one or two experts in, um, in the technical, in the code base, in the technical um, uh, details, and you know that have followed blockchain and crypto for at least, um, you know, at least a year, uh, pr preferably more. Then you have these one or two or three. Um, experts and then the rest should be just very good software engineers um, with knowledge in networks and distributed systems um, also in systems so so you know when you don't need a whole team of blockchain experts usually you want just a few very few that know blockchain and then the rest of the team should be just you know very good devs okay thanks and what do you think like as a community we can do like do not start like blockchain winter like to develop like blockchain in an enterprise um, to develop blockchain enterprise yeah i mean like uh, mm, mm, we have from one side some hype and from another uh, si side we 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 have some real challenges real problems and so on so what can you do as community to solve these real problems and do not support this such uh, kind of hype around blockchain yeah um, I don't know. I'm not sure um, these things can be solved. I currently feel that, um, you know, um, I'd say there's a lot of attention through mark coin market cap. And when this, when coin market cap dictates the attention, then, you know, the, the companies that uh, raised lots of money Will, will will attract the attention. So, it's it's kind of a game of a game of market cap. Um, so you, it's hard to beat that. But I would say, what we need to do is to develop more standards about what we're looking for in a project, what we're looking for in a protocol. Because currently the community is very fragmented, um, in the sense that you know um, I was I was in many, several conferences and they, you have these. Um, a panel, it almost looks, looks like a marketplace where everyone says, here's my solution, um, uh, here's my protocol, here's my protocol, and it's, it's sort of there's no clear um, standard what, what are the metrics you want to measure, um, 
you want to measure with, against, and what, 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 how do you vet a project, how do you vet a protocol. So in this, in this ecosystem, we're trying to say, okay, here's, here are the standards, here's the way, the right way to do things. Um, um, and it doesn't really, it doesn't matter for us personally, but it doesn't really matter who wins as, as long as there's, it needs to be one winning standard or maybe very few winning standards. And that's why you ask what's our role in the project. We want to do just do the, the proof of work based layer in the right way. We hope to become a standard for that layer. Um, there are many players in layer two. There are many players in proof of stake, but there, it's, there's no clear standard where proof of stake is. Some, think, some people think proof of stake is a certain uh, implementation. Um, uh, Casper, some think it's, um, you know, uh, EOS, like proof of stake is not clear what it is. Proof of work is more known. Everyone sort of agrees what the, what the term refers to. So we're trying to to you know to to win on this standard and to create a standard for the community. Once you have standards, then any, everyone understands what the competition is about, what the game is about, um, what we need to improve, how to vet new proposals. It becomes more clear. Okay, thanks. And last question. So what do you think about recent conference so far? This conference um, was very impressive, um, very well organized. Uh, I didn't feel here the hype at all. I felt that people came here just, um, um, you know, good atmosphere. Um, I don't see a lot of um, hype and people pushing business cards to your face. I don't know, I really enjoyed it so far. I'm looking forward to the continuation of it. Okay, thank you very much.